Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's iOS Update. This week on the update, I've got a great looping system that runs on your iOS device, whether you're using an iPad, an iPhone, or an iPod Touch. Let's dive in and check it out. There are a lot of different solutions for looping, but the one I like on the iPad is Loopy HD. Loopy HD lets you create up to 12 different loops. You can merge the loops together. You can overdub on them. They can be different lengths. It will manage all that kind of stuff. Plus, it has a number of extended features. For example, it will synchronize with the drum machine that's running in the same iPad. You can also control it using a MIDI foot controller, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. The way that Loopy is set up, each one of these circles is a track. When you touch the track, it goes into loop recording mode. Once you have the loop recorded, you have a variety of things you can do as well. You could drag it onto another track. You can drag it back. You could add another track. You can overdub on top of it. You can change the volume by simply spinning your finger on the dial. You can change the pan position in the stereo field. So lots of different things you can do there. Now when you're ready to record the next track, just set the loop length that you want. In this case, I'm going to set it to four bars long by using this screen here. We'll just double that to four. Go back to our start screen. We touch the loop. on to our next track. And so on, to build whatever uh, type of composition that we want. It's also great for practicing. You can import loops into Loopy HD and then play along with them. Uh, you can export loops out. You can send them to your computer. You can load them into other apps as well. Lots of different things you can do here. If you're an instrumentalist, it's really nice to have hands-free control over your looping. What I'm doing is I'm using a MIDI foot controller. I've got the Keith McMillan Soft Step. It's connected to my iPad using the Apple Camera Connection Kit and USB. And in fact, the iPad is providing the power that's actually running the Soft Step. I don't even have to have a power supply for that. Now, the way that I've set this up, I've got the, uh, the numbers on the, uh, the Soft Step assigned to different functions within the Loopy software, which is very easy to do. In this case, I've got the number one key set to move me from track to track. So it moves you forward. So you can record or do whatever you want in those tracks. I've got the number two key moving it back. I've got the number three key set up to mute a particular track. And you can have other keys set up so that you're toggling recording. You can start and stop the software. So a lot of different functions can be controlled with your feet so you can keep playing in a live performance situation or when you're doing a recording in the studio. Now getting audio into Loopy is as simple as any other audio program in your iPad. In this case, I'm using the iRig Stomp, which we talked about in a recent uh, iOS update. I'm simply running my guitar into it. The output from that is coming into my iPad, back out, and then the, uh, the headphone jack is feeding out, and in this case, into our cameras. But I could also run that into headphones or to my studio recording system. Now, once you have your song finished, you can bounce it down to a stereo track, and then you can transfer it to another app. You can email it to yourself on your computer. You can send it to SoundCloud. A variety of different things you can do with your finished mix at that point. I'd like to thank Phil Selman, a member of the Sweetwater Marketing Department, for turning me on to Loopy. I've had a lot of fun with this app. This whole looping system is very useful, very easy to use, and definitely something you're going to want to consider putting into your musician's toolbox. I'm Mitch Gallagher. This has been Sweetwater's iOS Update. Yeah.